Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be telling you guys about 12 forgotten and unused features that nobody really ever utilizes anymore in Grand Theft Auto Online. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think are some unused features that we have not talked about in this one and that we also haven't covered in previous videos too? But anyways, let's get it started at the number one spot today, actually going to the impound lot. Like, am I the only one who, if my vehicle happens to get impounded, I just call out another vehicle, it gets destroyed by Moore's Mutual, and then I just call Moore's Mutual and it spawns back in my garage. Or with the addition of the CEO office assistant, you can just call her and she'll get it out of the impound for $1,000. So like, why trek yourself all the way around town and then like pay the fee of $250? So I don't know about you guys, but I never go to the impound lot anymore. I, I really think that's one of the silliest features in Grand Theft Auto Online. But alas, I guess some people still might. I just haven't done it in years. Number two today, phone customization. Yes, you can actually customize a good bit of your phone. The background itself, the background colors, the ringtone alerts that you get. Most people probably never mess with this when they get into Grand Theft Auto Online because it's kind of an afterthought. I still wish to this day we had more phone customization options, like the ability to silence it all together so we wouldn't get alert from you know NPCs in-game or even other players for that matter, but that's probably a quality of life change that Rockstar will never introduce, especially at this stage of GTA Online. At the number three spot today, calling Lester to request a job. Like, who has actually used this? Now, in previous videos, we've talked about a lot of other Lester services like locate car, boat, helicopter. And Lester has some useful features, but request job? Like, really? At this point in time, who either A, isn't looking for a specific job, or like B, doesn't just go on call? Who would call Lester just to like request a job. That just seems like an extra step that you would do just to get something done. Like why wouldn't you just go from point A to point B? So not sure I've ever used that one and I don't think really anyone would use that one. At the number four spot today, the laptop in our garage. Like did you guys even know that this was a thing? I mean, we have laptops in our offices, every single business, most of our apartments, but there's a laptop in our garage and it literally like doesn't make sense to even have there. Like who has a laptop in their garage? Like if you were to go in your garage right now in real life, do you have a laptop in there? So it just seems kind of weird. Although I guess this is sort of a special case considering we have our own mechanic shop and TV in there too. So I don't know, maybe if you are that rich, you have a laptop in your garage, but just who goes about using this? Like pull out your phone. Uh, if you really need to use your laptop in the garage, if you really need to get on the internet in your garage, you'll just pull out your phone. So that seems a little bit silly to me. The number five spot today, the ammunition store shooting range. So if you're going to use the shooting range, you probably have it unlocked with the bunker, which was added in, I think, 2016, 2017. So you probably have no use at all to go to the you know random ammunition shooting range. I haven't done that in like five years. And like I just mentioned, because Rockstar sort of updated the shooting range with the release of gun running when they added it in the bunker, it pretty much eliminates any need to go there. Because if you want, you can just spawn in your bunker and then you're steps away from the shooting range itself. So Rockstar kind of killed that one off from one of the updates that they ended up introducing. At the number six spot today, jobs like captures and parachutes. Like if you go to the online menu, play job and Rockstar created, there's like five or six categories where I'm like, yeah, I haven't done one of these in like five or six years. And I don't think I'm ever gonna do one again. Like seriously, who does parachuting? Like that can't even be fun. Same with like some of the random captures. Like unless you have people to play with, good luck finding another person across the world that wants to do that because I'm pretty sure like 10 people per month play those jobs. That has to be like a record if that's the case. Those haven't been played since 2013 or 2014. In fact, when's the last time that Rockstar even made one of those like double money in RP like on their Newswire events? I, I really feel like it's been ages. At the number seven spot today, free mode events. Like when's the last time you participated in like 
Hunt the Beast or whatever the other ones are. Like I see those pop up every now and then, but I never participate in them. And I don't think really anyone else does either. There's so much going on in Grand Theft Auto Online to pay attention to. Business battles, your own businesses themselves, you know, heist preps that you're doing. Like, does anyone actually pay attention to those free roam battles anymore? Free roam events, I should say. They don't pay out all that well. The, the game modes themselves are kind of boring. I mean, they're a, an interesting concept, but does anyone, again, actually do those? I think the answer is kind of no here. The number eight spot, this one's kind of awkward. Using your microphone to earn RP. So I think there's a couple of different things that you can do this with. Uh, one of them would be riding like the Ferris wheel and also riding the roller coaster. If you turn your microphone on and make noise, you'll get extra RP. Also, if you sing in the shower, you can get extra RP. And by far the most awkward of the bunch is if you find your way at the Vanilla Unicorn Strip Club. Yes, when you're getting a lap dance, you can get extra RP by yelling into the microphone and letting everyone know in the lobby what you're doing. It doesn't get much more awkward than that. And because of that, I don't think anyone actually does that. I'm pretty sure they can earn their 20 RP elsewhere without feeling very ashamed. Now, up next, we've talked about this in a previous Forgotten Features video, but it seems like no one really goes into the convenience stores anymore. Back in the day in 2013, robbing them was actually a pretty effective way to get a little bit of money. But nowadays in 2020, that money is so insignificant and you can get snacks from other places for free, like at your facility or at your CEO office. So it doesn't make sense there to go for that, but one thing you can do when getting the option to actually buy snacks is shoplift. But this easily has to be the dumbest feature of all time, considering you can only grab like one or two snacks before the police are alerted to you. So you're gonna spend more money on ammo and even calling Lester to get rid of the cops than the one or two snacks are worth. Like literally it's $5, just pay the $5 for the freaking snacks. So why that feature is in the game, I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like it's very useful at all. Another forgotten feature, and this one's actually kind of cool, and I wish there was more to this, but since there isn't a lot to do with the water in game, it's not surprising. You can actually deploy boats from the back of trailers. So if you happen to find a boat that's on a trailer, on a car in the road, and you take it, you can actually put it in the water and actually like deploy it, which is really cool, and then you can take the boat. The only problem is, is if you want to put the boat back on the trailer, it doesn't like officially secure. So it will probably fall off as you're driving around the road. But that's pretty cool. It kind of makes me want Rockstar to do something more with the water in online, whether that's like a naval based or underwater DLC. That would actually be kind of cool. And of course, when I was recording for this video, the one time I want to find one of those pickup trucks with the boat trailer on there, I literally searched for like 10 minutes, couldn't find a single one. It's typical. Whenever you're looking for something in GTA, it never shows up, but then when you don't care about it, it seems like you find an endless amount of them. And last but not least today, you can actually ride the train. I'm not talking about the train that goes around the entire map. I'm talking about like the Los Santos Transit that sort of goes underneath the map. Yes, you can actually ride this around. And I actually completely forgot about this for the most part because it's always underground. So like unless you're underground or you happen to be in the exact location when it pops up to pick up customers, you're not going to find it. And it's actually a pretty cool and peaceful way to travel from one location to another, especially if you've got to go like AFK for five minutes, but you still want to go from point A to point B without being bothered by others, which is nice because they typically won't find you underground. You can just simply use the train to you know navigate yourself around the city. So it's pretty fun. It's actually pretty peaceful, believe it or not. But anyways, that right there is 12 forgotten and unused features that players just simply never do or utilize anymore in Grand Theft Auto Online. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think are some of the forgotten or unused features and uh, let us know what you're thinking down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well 
Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.